Welcome back to Mogverse. Today we're diving into one of the most underrated workhorses of modern military logistics, the M915A5 line haul tractor truck used by the United States Army. This truck doesn't grab headlines like an Abrams tank or an Apache helicopter, but it plays a vital role in keeping forces moving, loaded, and supplied wherever they're needed. In this review, we'll walk you through every detail, from its engineering and performance to how it's priced and how it fits into military operations in 2025. When people think of military vehicles, they often think of armored fighting machines. But logistics is just as important, and nothing proves that more than the M915 series. The M915A5 is a 6x4 tractor truck built specifically for line haul missions, meaning its primary job is to transport heavy cargo trailers over long distances on roads. It's not a tactical battlefield truck that you'd take off-road into rough terrain, but on highways and improved surfaces, it's one of the most capable heavy haulers in the Army fleet. Wikipedia Plus One The A5 designation tells you this is the latest evolution of the M915 family, with upgrades based on years of real-world Army logistics experience. This platform was developed by Daimler Trucks North America in partnership with the U.S. Army to meet modern requirements for power, protection, comfort, and reliability. Unlike the earlier M915 variants which were more basic commercial derivatives, the A5 incorporates additional enhancements and refinements aimed at serious military use. Army Technology Under the hood you'll find a robust diesel engine, most commonly the Detroit Diesel Series 60 unit, delivering around 500 horsepower. This gives the truck ample power to haul large trailers and containers, even when fully loaded, and the torque figure is tuned to handle the stresses of long-distance transport. This engine is paired with a heavy-duty automatic transmission that's designed to be reliable under high loads, while also being smooth enough for highway driving. While the truck's maximum road speed is typically capped at about 65 miles per hour, that's more than enough when you're moving heavy cargo across long distances. Military Factory one of the things that stands out about the M915A5 is its combination of capability and simplicity. The chassis is a conventional 6x4 layout, with a front steering axle and tandem rear axles that carry the load. It's built around a strong ladder frame capable of supporting a gross combination vehicle weight of well over 50,000 pounds when hooked up with a trailer. In practical terms this truck can pair with a variety of army semi-trailers, from flatbeds carrying engineering equipment to container trailers hauling critical supplies. Wikipedia. For drivers and crew, the cab of the M915A5 is a big step up from older military tractors. The increased interior space adds comfort, especially on long missions where the crew might be on the road for hours or days at a time. Climate control, ergonomic seating, and tilt telescoping steering systems help reduce fatigue, and the cab design reflects feedback from soldiers who have spent extensive time behind the wheel. Military factory, safety and situational awareness have also been improved. While this isn't an armored combat vehicle, it does feature enhanced protection compared to earlier models. The A-kit and optional B-kit armor provisions allow the truck to be configured for additional protection if needed, giving commanders flexibility depending on the operational environment. In addition, Modern driver assistance systems like collision warning and electronic stability control improve safety on the road, especially when hauling heavy loads at highway speeds. CCJ Digital Off-road performance isn't the primary mission for this truck. Unlike true tactical vehicles with all-wheel drive, this 6x4 tractor is optimized for paved and improved surfaces. It has around 9.5 inches of ground clearance and can ford water obstacles up to about 20 inches deep but this is not a vehicle you would use for heavy off-road hauling. It's best described as a military adaptation of a commercial heavy hauler, ruggedized where necessary, but fundamentally built for road transport. Military Factory The fuel capacity on the M915A5 is another practical advantage. With a large dual-fuel tank setup, it can achieve a range of around 600 miles on a single fill, depending on load and driving conditions. This extended range reduces the number of fuel stops needed during long logistics missions and helps keep supply lines moving efficiently. Military Factory Maintenance and sustainment are key considerations for any vehicle in the Army's inventory, and the M915A5 was designed with this in mind. By building on proven commercial truck components and partnering with an experienced manufacturer, the Army benefits from an existing support network for parts and service. This helps lower life cycle costs and ensures that units in the field can keep these trucks operational with less downtime. 
The commonality with commercial heavy truck parts also means mechanics who are familiar with civilian Freightliner type systems can transition more easily to maintaining the military version. Army Technology Now let's talk about how this vehicle fits into the broader logistics ecosystem. In today's military operations, the ability to move supplies rapidly and reliably is crucial. Whether it's transporting containers from a port to a forward operating base, hauling fuel or water tankers across a theater of operations, or simply repositioning equipment, the M915A5 does the grunt work that makes everything else possible. It's not glamorous, but it's essential. Without trucks like this, even the most advanced combat units would eventually grind to a halt due to lack of supplies. Wikipedia. In terms of pricing, exact procurement costs for military trucks like the M915A5 can vary based on contract terms, optional equipment, and support packages. Historical Army contracts for line haul tractors have ranged widely, but as an example from past procurement, the U.S. Army awarded contracts totaling hundreds of millions of dollars to produce thousands of units, making the per-unit cost fall into the low to mid-six-figure range. These costs include not only the vehicle itself,